But yes, hello everyone! We're back with more Golden Sun! We're here in one of these ruins, uh, the uh, Yamada City Ruin. Uh, we just uh, started this puzzle here where we gotta... Interesting. Okay. Alright. I need to... Oops. Not do that. I need to push this guy over to this one, I think. This one over here. Yeah. Do that. I do that. This is exactly where we left off. I didn't actually play this at all uh, yesterday. I didn't figure any uh, grinding would be needed. But that's okay. Right, we have Himi. You search. There we go. The Azura gem points the way to the one who sleeps beneath the land. points the way to a uh... to a gin. I think I see how to get this one already. What we want to do... Go on here. Go on here. And then down here on this one. Yeah, look at that! And we found ourselves a Jin who was hiding in the sand, but I don't know how, but... He's a Venus Jin, so... This one's floating on... This one's just floating. You curse me? What the fuck? That's fucking rude. 7,208. Hemlock. This spirit is associated with death and is found at the ruins in Yamada. Hemlock's grim power sentences the living to an imminent death. Only that would be useful on anything. Usually... Usually, death spells are not super useful in, uh, in, uh, JRPGs, usually. Some games, though, they, they, they can be super useful. Like, uh, FF6 is uh, a thing where you can cast Vanish and then death on everything. Or Doom, as, as it's called. Okay, so, now that we've uh, drained some more of the sand out of this area... Let's head back in here. Right, so there's this room here that we, uh... 
couldn't do anything in because it was all the sand. Oh, wait, hang on. Ah, a cookie. I will take a cookie. I like cookies. Max PP has increased! Anyway, guys, it is Friday! Hello! Let's pull ourselves across. Jumping down here, climbing down there. Yeah, we could just walk over here before, but now, because, uh... The zero gem points the way to the one who sleeps beneath the land. Oh, the fuck is my phone going off? this way gets you nothing. Fucking hell. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. It's like, hey, you have a shortcut here. No, you don't. No, you don't. No shortcut for you. cleared out all the sand, what's at the bottom? There's a third thing we need for the Apollo lens, which we already know where the, uh, the door for that is. Oh, there's even more that we can do. Never mind. Okay. Alright, Shakuamon. Or Ara Habaki. Red and blue, lead to green. Nah. This is supposed to be green or yellow. I think it's supposed to be yellow. We got a slight tinge of green to it, though. There we go, got all three. Yeah, yellow orb. See? And we already know where to take that, as we've already been to the Great Wall. Oh good, I can just teleport out. But I kind of want to step back on that, because I want to see what was below that uh, ladder, assuming the sand is drained now. It isn't. There's a ladder right there. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. That, uh, that slate there has words on it now. The truth seeker who faces darkness will be rewarded with might to split the earth. Watch this lead me to a secret boss or something. But I'm cool with might to split the earth. Let me, uh... Could just be a summon too, which would also be awesome. Not better than his weapon. He can't use it. Oh, 
But... He's the only one who can use the, uh... Tyrell can also use the Levitine, so I'm gonna give Tyrell the Levitine. And I'm gonna give, uh... Sasori... The Gaia Blade. Now, it's not as strong as the Levitine, but... That's okay. That was worth it, I think. Look at that. You gotta look. You gotta pay attention. Something I rarely ever do. Alright. Let's get out of here. We have all three gems, guys. So, let's take these over to the, uh, the Great Wall. And get a good start on today's stream. Because uh, I have a feeling we're close to the end of this game. Like, it feels like it. We almost have all the Jin. I think I'm missing one Jin. Only a few of those Jin was I actually given any hints for. Like, the one that required the rag up in uh, Passage. And uh, one or two of the world map ones you guys told me about. Alright. Save our game. We kicked some butt today, guys. 12 minutes into stream and we've already, already finished one dungeon. All right, so the place we gotta go is actually to uh, do west from here. Um, the only thing I don't know is uh, on that island that I needed to hop in the tornado for, and then at the bottom of the fire island, uh, there was a door that required, uh, that had a sun sigil on it. So I'm thinking that's post-game stuff. Or there's something at the Great Wall we need. Hey, level 43, look at that. It's about their game, level 43. Oh, that reminds me! The first game of this, um, maybe the second game as well, uh, had this, like, error message when your uh, entire party was, like, full up on inventory. Where, uh, if, you, if an enemy drops something, like crystal powder, uh, the game would be like, Felix, uh, his bags are full. So Felix takes the crystal power and throws it as far into the distance as he can. <laughs> I really like the boss theme in these areas. Not the boss theme, battle theme. Alright. Here's the Great Wall. Or the Endless Wall. Oh, that's right, we gotta go over here to get in. That's not the one I should have frozen. Why did I put two there? That's super good. You climb the tree? No? Okay, that's fine. Alright. Alright, and then from here, we already know that we can use the Thermal spell. Let's get up higher up on it. Look at that. There 
go. And then from there we just go over here. And back to this gate that blocked us before, but now we have all three treasures. Ye whose goal is light, show to me the three treasures that... So that I might see them with my own eyes. There we go! The, the way is open! Oh shit, I thought this was gonna be its own dungeon, but instead it's... Okay, here. Well, why do you get to go first? What if I wanted to go first? A few attack power difference isn't a huge deal either. No I was able to do a ton of damage, a ton more damage as well. Karis got level 40. Death scuttlers, apparently. Terror strike. I still want a better weapon for you. What the fuck? Actually, that Verdon sword that I didn't, I, I, that I just took off, might actually be better for someone. I should check. Hey, Tyrell leveled up. You see, I got a, that Verdon sword from on Rafer. Yeah, it's a better weapon for Hime, and for, uh, Yolio, and for Amity. I think he's got massive one though, so I'm gonna give it to, uh, Amity. Oh, this is a dead end. Oh, three Death Scuttlers and Fenrir. Took like nothing from that. Shadow Cannon! Ah, oh, I love that ability. He's been stunned. And killed. Well, at least his um, Unleashed as an AoE. So that's pretty good. Guy have like Spiral Assault. Mass is at Levitin Centurion. That gave me 15,000 EXP. Wraith is at level 43. He made 42. Eolio, level 41. That's a ton of EXP, guys. I think that's the most EXP I've gotten in one battle so far. I think. Shadow Cannon! Well, that one got stunned as well. Spiral Assault! Yeah. Like, even that alone was 8,000 DXP, so the Cerberus is given time. A lot of fights here. Feral Rush. All Sveta's abilities are just so, so awesome. Either she punches the crap out of you, you get a giant fucking Kamehameha in your face. Time to 
cards a wish well out, just to make sure we're all full HP going forward. Not that anyone really needed it. Wraith's already back to full MP. Or PP. Defeated. We got him. 9001 EXP. Alright, I don't know what that is, but we're gonna go over here first. Alright, over here is also a dead end. Thousand five hundred forty-four. Amity is at level forty. Amity learned Frost Spiral. Still learning spells. Okay. Yeah, this this area is really high on the damn uh, on the uh, uh, encounter rate. That's what I was looking for. Encounter rate. It's not great. Four hundred and eighty-four. Learn Radiant Fire. Okay. Oh, he still has one more ability he can learn. He's still getting weapons, so... Titan Blade. Okay, Radiant Fire is the last one. Okay, team. We're moving it back to this. Probably gonna have a fight. to respond with their AoE attacks as well. Look at that. We're hailing hole again. Shadow Cannon! That's sick. I don't know why Gaia Blade has skydive with where it launches a bird at you that doesn't track with the whole earth thing there you go again skydiver kind of reminds me of uh, brave bird in pokemon sasser got 16,000 exp that's even better and he's level 44 that is 44. Um, speaking of Pokemon, I uh, found my first shinies in Pokemon Le uh, uh, Legends Arceus. My first one was a Badoof. My second one was a Badoof. I also tried to catch a Star Actor. I threw the Pokeball. It missed. And then a few seconds later, I caught a Magikarp. So, that's great. What the fuck is this? Is something behind that waterfall? 
Watson take me back to Vale as the final part of this game. Well, that's a weird way to start the fight, Fenrir. And he likes the skydiver ability. I think uh, the amount you unleash with a weapon, is that tied to your luck? and your um, crit rating. Hey, Terrell's 44 and you learned Hurricane. Oh, we gotta check that out. 44, yay, rave. Okay. That's something, I guess. Breakable. So I say touch the statue's forehead. Oh. Isn't that nice? She's giving me a hand. Why she just drop me? You know, it would have been interesting if this was like a throwback to another area and I'm just not seeing it. Oh. Well, if we have cause to go back out to Champa, we can use that to make something new. I can't actually climb up there yet, but... I thought that said fully demon at first. I was like, alright. That's a fury demon. The demons in this are interesting. They all carry around these, like, spike or the chain of the fallen chains. Hey, a Master Titan Blade. Sick. I was so confused when they added the weapon mastery system in this, because, like, I was like, what the fuck? But it ended up working out pretty well, I think. Um, it's not all that confusing. You just use the weapon, and as you use it, you get better with it. Very easy to manage, actually. There you go. Now, if we ever need to get through here again. Oh, wait. We do need to get through here again, because... We can't jump that far. Seven drafts here. Punch his dick over and over again. And then kick his knob right off. That's what she did. This area is chock full of uh, synergy puzzles. Almost like they knew that uh, people who used synergy would be coming through here. At least they give you a nice amount of shortcuts down. There you go. And 
now we can jump across. Pick up this. Create a shortcut for ourselves. With a treasure chest underneath. Wait, no, that's not a shortcut. Never mind. It's still a treasure chest, though. Ooh, what's this? Alien Castle. Okay. Man, aliens in uh, Ragnarok Online were horrible to play. Because that is better than Porter. Who's wind power and resist. Not as good as his. 38 increase. I think we might give that to... I just gotta go and sell stuff eventually here, because we're running low on uh, space. Got another statue here. Yeah, look at that. Sorry, statue, we gotta bust whatever this is. Alright. Two Fury Demons. Maybe we can see what the, the Titan Blade is. Yep, there it is. Well, that was pretty cool. His, he did not like me doing that to his body, though. He smashed me with his ball. Karis at 41. We get so much GXP here, guys. Like, I've gained, like, two or three levels already today. Just fighting what we ran into along the way. Killed him immediately. Can you do that every time? It saves so much time. I think if we go down here, there's a shortcut. Or at the very least, there's this the break. He may gets the Valkyrie mail. Alright, is that better for anyone? More armor. She can't equip, but it was critical. So we're giving up the Sasser. Alright. Tyrell! Else you get the dragon mail? Absolutely worth it. That's right, gets more crit? Heck yes. No complaints here. Right, here, down here. Here. This was like, I'm just giving you a finger. That's all you get from me. That's alright, it's a good thing I got some parkour skills. Hey dudes! You doing any taxes? And you had yeah, nothing? Oh, I'm good. I'm glad to hear it. 
Yeah, that's good. I'm glad. Put out the fire. Maybe I should talk to the face. I'll give us an idea, maybe. The path of light may not be trod without warning those who pass in the shadow. Reserve the right that the, the, the rights thusly. First, bring fire to the deceased eyes, then cleanse the forehead with a drop of water. Next, blow a cool breeze across the nose, and finally walk the path described by the scent of morning incense. Okay. So it's kind of right on. Let's reset our recording here, guys. <laughs> 